Yep. That night alone inspired me to go back on YouTube. What's up guys, Clifford here, and this is my first YouTube video. Well, technically not really, just, just the first one showing my face. I've been talking about doing YouTube for a while, but you just never really follow through. But hey, nonetheless, here I am. So this video is gonna be an AMA vid. So yesterday on Instagram, I posted a little thing on my story saying everybody dropped questions, anything you wanted to know about me, my story, or just anything about life. So let's go. All right, I'll start with the easy ones. Full name, my name is Clifford Taylor the fourth. No middle name, I know. When is my birthday? My birthday is April 5th, 1999, so I'm in Aries, if that matters to you. Where am I from? I was born in Raleigh, North Carolina, but I was raised in the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina. How tall are you? A lot of people don't believe me when I say this, but I'm actually 6'6", and if you don't believe me, What school did I go to? This is an easy one. All I gotta do is point. The University of Florida. What is my nationality? I am Guyanese. Hold up, I gotta show y'all. That's the Guyana flag. So my mom is from Georgetown, Guyana, which is located in South America, the northeast side of South America. So Guyanese people, stand up. Didn't you play football for the Gators? Yes, I was a walk-on tight end from my junior year to my senior year while I was at Florida. And if you don't believe me, did this help? Or maybe this. Good times, man, good times. Describe your personality. I would describe my personality as laid back, chill, goofy, you know, kind of awkward, but I blame that on only child syndrome. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, I think chill, laid back. What sports did you play growing up? Basketball and strictly basketball. Being from the Hoop State, basketball was a big deal, but then once I got to Florida, fast forward to my junior year, I decided to start playing football without any experience, but it actually turned out to be the best decision of my life. What was your favorite thing about UF besides playing football? Honestly, I would just say my friends. You know, my friends made the transition from just being a regular student to an athlete, you know, so easy, and just the nightlife, the environment, the culture, everything about Florida was amazing and then some. Favorite memory at the swamp? There's so many, but if I had to think at the top of my head, it's two, either A, the Auburn game, or B, my first game when I went there as just a student and we had that Hail Mary to beat Tennessee. That was the craziest experience I've ever you know, seen in my life. If you didn't go to Florida, where would you go? Uh, that's actually an easy one. If I didn't go to Florida, I would a thousand percent be a North Carolina Tar Heel. Grew up a Tar Heel fan, hated Duke growing up, still hate Duke now. I would have been a North, North Carolina Tar Heel. What am I doing now? Well, today I'm currently living in Los Angeles, California. Currently working for the LA Rams, doing social media and graphic design, so pretty sweet giddy. Have I ever been to Canada? Yes, I've been to Canada two times, well, Toronto, and the CN Tower, uh, I think it's still called the Air Canada Center. If not, I'm sorry, but yes, Toronto, Canada, amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend going there. You know, I was gonna get this one. Relationship status, I'm single. I'm single. What was my major in college? My major in college was graphic design, so, you have GDs, shout out to y'all. When did I graduate from Florida? I actually recently graduated. I graduated August 7th, I believe. Yeah, August 7th. So finally graduated, and as you can see, grad picks, diploma, you know the whole deal. You know what it is, go get it. <laughs> Why do you mean mug so much? I really don't mean mug that much. Um, I, I have been told that I have a very serious mean mug face. But nine times out of nine times out of ten, I'm usually happy, always smiling if you get to know me, like I said. But yeah, I mean, my mean mug is, I mean mug, I guess. Aren't you famous on TikTok? A little bit. I would say, yeah, a little famous. You know, I, I was fortunate enough to get my first name as my username on TikTok. And I think now I stand at like 300 something K. So pretty exciting if you ask me. When did I start making TikTok videos? I started making TikToks in November of 2019. I kind of made one, just kind of winged it, thought it was just like a goofy thing or whatever. 
woke up to about 300,000 views and then it just kept growing and growing and then made another one that did good, a third one that did good, and then the fourth one ended up on like overtime and bleach report and I was like, I guess this is, my, this is my calling now. What advice would you give someone who wants to be an influencer? There's four things that I live by when doing my TikTok video or just any videos at all. Number one, be authentic, be your real self. You know, no need to fake it, just be real. Number two, block out the noise. You're gonna get love, you're gonna get hate. It happens, but you just gotta make sure you block it out. Easier said than done, but just try to do it. Number three, be patient. If your videos aren't blowing up in T minus 10 seconds, then don't trip. Sometimes it takes a day or even a week for a video to just go crazy. Happened to me a bunch of times. And number four, this is easy. Just have fun. Just have fun. That's all you can do. Just have fun, enjoy what you're doing. Just try to make people laugh. Do what you think is funny. Do what you think is gonna be great and you're gonna go crazy on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever the case is. Just do it. PS5 or Xbox. PS5, man. Come on, that's an easy one. <laughs> Who were my favorite influencers growing up? So there were a few that I used to watch all the time, but some of the main ones include uh, Scooter Magruder, who I used to watch religiously. He used to drop videos every Sunday. Me and my best friend would literally like wait. We'll wait till 11.59 for him to drop a video. Like we used to watch it all the time. And so when I got the opportunity to meet him in Florida and, you know, be friends with him, it was, you know, it was incredible, you know, amazing guy. And yeah, he's someone that I definitely want to collab with in the future. Another guy would be Suzy. I know he does like animation videos, but he has just been incredible since I was watching him when I was 12 and he's still, you know, going at it today. How was the Los Alos game? Well, <laughs> crazy, simply put, crazy. To be honest with you, that was the first time that I felt like an influencer because I went there and there were literally people in the stands hitting the gator chomp. And it's like, that's that's just so surreal to me. And it just, it was amazing. I was there with AJ, I was there with Destroying and we all just had, you know, an amazing time. Everybody over there welcomed me with open arms and it was just a crazy experience. UF vlog, I totally would if I was still at UF, but I'm in LA now, so maybe, LA Rams vlog, maybe. Where did you get your chains? So these have kind of become my signature. You know, this is how pretty much everybody recognizes me. I mean, when I did a takeover for the Florida Gators a few months ago, Albert and Alberta, they even wore the, the big old like initial chains kind of like mocking me. So that was really cool. But uh, I got these chains at a place in Oak Small in Gainesville, Florida called Royal Jewelers. Uh, I got all my jewelry from there. I was never really a jewelry kid growing up, but then once I got to college, I was like, I need to kind of like, you know, enhance my appearance a little bit. So I got my earrings from there. I got all my chains from there and my watches from there. So yeah, Royal Jewelers, that's where I got them from. So shout out to my boy CJ. What made me want to switch and play football instead of trying out for basketball? Uh, long story short, the whole basketball walk-on thing didn't work out. So I just started playing intramural flag football with a few friends of mine. And then we just started dominating everybody. And it just got to a point where it's like, yo, like at this point I might as well play. So it was a long shot, but then I started training, got in shape, well, kind of, and tried it for the team. And then next thing I know, boom, two years on the team. Went like that. How did I get my number 45? So that's actually a story. And I'm gonna save that for another video because a lot happened leading up to getting that number. Are you ever coming back to Florida? Our last one. <laughs> Can you smile for the camera? <laughs> all right, well, that was all the questions, guys. I appreciate you for helping me out. And I'll try to make videos at least once a week. Who knows? With my new job with the Rams, I might be very busy, but I'm gonna try to make videos, whether it's a story time animation or just me giving advice about anything, being a walk-on, just being an athlete in college just being a regular person now, just whatever. So as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. You know the whole jazz, you've heard it before. See you guys soon, peace.